What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan in case you're new here. If you're new here, hey, be so kind. Hit that thumbs up button. It's not going to kill you. Uh, be, you know, subscribe. All that good good. Anyways, so we're going to do a brief little trade recap here on Roku. Uh, we had a $1,350 profit on Roku. We were trading puts. Puts means you make money when the stock goes down. And man, he's still going down. That is crazy. He's going to hit that 120 real quick. All right, anyways, um, that would have been like my secondary profit target was 120, but I just wanted to get out of it real quick because it was a quick morning trade. Um, but hey, good for anybody else that's still in this trade. Okay, so um, initially I was watching Netflix. Not watching Netflix. I wasn't like, you know, watching a show or something like that. I was watching the stock Netflix right here at this 420 area. That was going to be what I was watching right out of the open to see how it treated that area. But it just dropped. I mean, it just literally flushed straight through it. I mean, almost right down to the one to the 14, 414 area here within one minute. So for that reason, I was like, all right, I, I already missed a trade on this guy. Uh, you know, he's gonna, obviously he gave a little bit of a pop back, but... The spreads on Netflix. Netflix is just a wild mover. Everything wasn't looking. It, it, it was just looking ugly. So what did I do? I went over and used my handy dandy knowledge. Right? Right? Okay. So we know that there's other similar stocks that might not be as dramatic right now. So that's why I came over and I hopped over to Roku. And I'm watching Roku now. I'm watching it at the 125 area. Kind of seeing how he does there. Seeing if he can hold it or not. Um, and let me let me hop over now. 6.43 is where I entered the trade, and it was a small trade, for lack of a better word. As you can see, it was just one entry. Uh, you know, I didn't add into anything. Um, very, very smooth, if you will. 15 contracts, and that's about it. So uh, we can easily calculate the cost of the trade on this one. All you do is do 15 times 350. The reason why it's 350 is because I got in at 350. One is equivalent to 100 when you're trading options. That's the way it works. So if you see $3.50 here, it's actually 350. So the cost of the trade was only 5,250. So do you have did you have $5,250 in your account? Do you have that much money? Yes, no. Well, hopefully you do. You should save some money. Anyways, that's besides the fact. If you do and if you know what you're doing, you could have done this as well and you could have made a lot more as well. We'll we'll touch base on that as well. But as I like to say, don't get greedy. Don't start doing the whole, oh my God, it could have been more. It could have been this. It could have been that. Because uh, there's going to come a time where it won't be. It'll reverse on you. Go back to my previous video from this one. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so anyways, I decided that I missed Netflix. I'm going to use like a whole sector idea, sector play on to Roku. Um, and this is where I got in. 643. So 643 is right here as we basically pierce through that uh, 125 area and it didn't look like it could really hold above it. It was just kind of, you know, chopping around there. Obviously, you know, I had my little trend going there. Um, I'm trying to give you guys a little bit of information here as much as possible. You know, it's, it's just not fair to my students that have, you know, paid to learn from me. And then if I go all on YouTube and say, oh, look, this is what I did here and this is what you do and that's what you do and that's what you do and that's what you do. You know, it's not going to be fair to them. It's like, wait, wait a minute, what did I pay you for? You know, the people that took my mentorship course before that I like would coach them live, it's just not fair to them. So, you know, that's why I don't directly just say, hey, this is this, this is this, this is this. But I try to give you guys hints here. I mean, my goodness, guys, come on, just open up your eyes. You'd be able to pick up on it. Um, so anyways, all the lights were flashing, basically. I mean, you look at the whole market, the market was dying, everything was flying, you're going and you just, all right, guys, I'm getting too carried away here now. This isn't a learning session. My God, we're dropping it like it's hot. All right. Anyways, I got to wrap up this video. I don't want it to be too long, and I got a few things to do today anyways. Um, I've been working on something exciting. I'm hoping I can make it come through, but yeah, that's that. Um, that. This is where the rambling comes. I apologize, guys. I just get a little excited sometimes. I get a little, you know, it's early in the morning. Um, so that's where I got into the trade. And then about 15 minutes later, at 6.57, I exited the trade at 4.40. So... Just about ninety cent difference there, so ninety dollar difference times fifteen because we had fifteen contracts. That's one thousand three hundred and fifty profit. That's one thousand three hundred and fifty that you see there, which obviously would have been a lot more now. I mean, my goodness, we were in at three fifty. Imagine if we sold it at six thirty right now. I don't know. I'm bad at math, but I think that's two dollars and eighty cents per. So two hundred and eighty times fifteen. 
It is something we do not want to look at. It would have been 4,200. Wait a minute. It's like the 420 that we were watching on Netflix. And then how funny this would have been. I should have held it to that. How funny would it have been? Um, all right. So back to this guy where I exited the trade. I'm getting way carried away here, guys, with all these little side comments. 657 is where I exited the trade. My goodness. Already hit the 120. Okay. So 657 now. Right here. So we basically dropped through. I mean, we had dropped through it a few times, but I kind of saw like, okay, wait a minute. He might not be, you know, dropping it like it's hot yet. It might be time to kind of start taking some profits. He looked like he was losing a little bit of the selling pressure there. Um, and I was, my initial profit target was 122.50. I was going to lock in the majority of it there and maybe hold three contracts to see if we could get 120. But I saw that it was kind of reversing there. And that's why I said, you know what? Don't be greedy. You got stuff to do today. You don't want to be sitting there watching things and checking your phone every so often and such and such and so on and so forth. So I said, let me just lock it in here. Man, it doesn't look like he's even going to hold the 120 here. There he goes. See you later. Um, okay. So, but that was that, guys. 1350 profit here. I didn't want to get too dramatic with it and make it too long of a video here. I um, just wanted to do a quick trade recap for you guys. And I wanted to do it in the morning right now because I know that if I wait till the evening, I'm probably not going to end up getting to it. And, and that's pretty much that. So, this is where I right where I exited the whole trade right around the 122.50 area. Um, obviously, if we were still holding it, it would have been a lot more down at 660 now. Uh, but but who cares? That's not what we're here for. We're not here to talk about that. We caught a nice move down, basically from the 125 to the 122.50. Had my risk on the 126, and that's pretty much it, guys. So I feel like I'm missing something here, but I don't think I did. We made money. The stock went down as the value of the stock went down. The value of our puts increased from 350 to 440. I sold them, 1,350 profit, and that's pretty much it. All right, guys, I'm trying to make these videos within five minutes. It doesn't really get that. I don't know. It, it always hits seven minutes. I'm going to try next video. We'll see. We'll see. All right, guys, we're wrapping it up here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you check the description below to you know visit our website, bijontrades.com. You know, follow me on social media, you know, Instagram, Twitter. Well, you guys know what social media is. Just follow me there. The name is Who's Bijan T on all those platforms. And that's pretty much it, guys. We'll wrap it up here. And yeah, I'll talk to you soon.